everyone, welcome to another um, Christmas card series for 2015. Um, I'm still using up some of the supplies that I've been using in my last few card making videos. Um, so I wanted to step you through the next card that I'm going to make. So this one's going to be um, a small card and I'm going to make it a top folding card so that it's going to sit like that. And so I've got my um, brown sugar um, cardstock from Kazaz. And then what I've got is just a scrap piece of paper from that um, that paper pack that I was talking about. I've got um, a, like a die cut piece that I've mounted onto a um, red frame, which I did a while ago when I had the kit. So that was just sitting in my um, cutout pieces. And I'm going to um, layer this up and um, put an embellishment on there. So my idea is just to um, trim the um, cardstock. That, so I've got some red cardstock here that coordinates with these colours and I'm just going to um, trim the cardstock so it creates the first mat. So what I need to do is actually measure this piece and I will do that using my trimmer. Um, so I just want um, the distance there which is ten and a half which means that I want this piece to trim at 10 centimetres so it will fit just with a small border around the edge. So trim that at 10 centimetres and move that off to the side. I'll keep that scrap handy just in case I decide to use some red. So that should give it hmm, a fairly, maybe a little bit more off there. So it might take about another half a centimetre off there. Usually that bit works, I'm not quite sure what happened there, but let's just check it now. Much better. So we're going to mount that um, red piece onto our card base. Just using some double sided tape. I've got a few different adhesives today. Um, we're going to use the double sided tape to do some of our layering and to give the card a little bit more interest and dimension we're also going to use our um, foam squares. We could use foam tape, whatever you wanted to or have handy. I've got um, some squares here. So we're just going to peel that off. And again, that trick, if you've done it too long, because I'm not very good at measuring, you can see that that double-sided tape is hanging over, and you just fold it back on itself, and it will hide itself away very well. Okay. So we're going to mount that the correct way onto our card and it's going to be opening up like that and then what we've got is um, this red pattern paper that we're also going to mount onto our brown sugar cardstock mat so let's go ahead and do that I'll put some double sided tape on there earlier so it's a really simple sort of technique doesn't require um, you know even any stamps or anything if you've just got these kind of sheets you can just layer some cardstock um, and decorate quite simply so done it again slightly different measurements it's not an exact square so I just need to make sure I put it on the right way and so I'm actually going to use the um, foam squares to mount this one and give it a bit of dimension and I'm also going to use the foam squares to mount this one so I'll put the foam squares on all in one hit and so for a piece this size I'd probably go um, in all four corners and then I'd probably also add to the middle there of each edge and maybe just another one in the middle I think will be enough and for a piece this size I'd probably just go four corners and into the middle now just one thing when you're using the foam squares is not to put it right in the corner because you will see it on the card if you do that so it's more a matter of putting it in just a little bit from the edge of the card and particularly these ones so the thicker they are the, the more you should sort of move them in so you don't see it on the card. Can't get that backing off. There we go. And because this is not exactly square, we want to make sure that we um, use the longer edge in the longer direction. So that's the that way. And 
I think I like it that way actually. It's not completely square. And just mount that onto your card base. Peel those ones off. And actually what I'm going to do before I add anything else um, is I actually want a bit of a twine. I'm just trying to decide which twine. I think I'm going to go the red twine. So I'm just going to peel this up. I wasn't going to add twine. But I've decided it needs something. And I'm just going to sit it under there for now because I'll decide where it goes after I put this piece on. So I'm going to have that towards the top, like so. And then I'm going to just do the twine down the bottom here. I'm going to attempt a bow if I can. They're not my uh, area of strong point. I think my fingernails get in the road. I think that's the challenge. Okay, we don't want it to be that big, so I'm just going to loosen that those cords and then tighten it up like so. And. trim those edges and we'll just send it this way a little bit so it's off to the side because on the other side I'm going to mount a greeting so I think what I'm going to do is on this side of the greeting because it's going to go off the edge I'm going to use one of those thick foam squares and on the other side, I'm actually going to use one of my thinner foam squares. So it'll still have some dimension, um, but it'll account for that difference in the, um, the depth of the card. And it will help it to stick better as well. So I want that red to show underneath, and I want that bow to come out there. Now, just to finish this card off, what I'm going to do is get my white gel pen and just run some bow stitching all the way around the edge. So you can see, uh, first of all, this card hasn't taken too long to prepare. Um, and we haven't sort of, you know, needed any stamps or anything like that. It's just been layering up the paper um, and using a bit of adhesive. And if you didn't have um, baker's twine, you could use, um, you know, any sort of ribbon or anything that you think would coordinate well with that. And again, just the white gel pen. But if you didn't have a white gel pen, silver, gold, they would all work really well. Um, but I'm just kind of sticking with this white gel pen because that's what I've used on the rest of the card. So just trying to stay with the same design. And on the, um, the sentiment that I've put on, there's actually um, a light blue faux stitching all the way around. So you could use like a light blue if you had that sort of pastel-y blue as well but I quite like that white on the red and I think it fits in well with the rest of the uh, with the rest of the card design with the paper, the red and white paper in the background there. Okay, almost at the end. So I was actually out shopping today and I, um, I'm almost out of red and white baker's twine with the Christmas cards that I've been making recently. So I went looking for some and I was quite surprised at how expensive it was um, in the shops that I could find it because a lot of shops were sold out because it's getting closer to Christmas. Um, but I did actually go to my local um, $2 shop and I found a whole packet for $1.50. So if you are looking for some um, baker's twine for Christmas, you know, the, the $2 store can be a great place to get it. This is the cute card that I've made. It didn't take very long and I'm going to add that one to the series. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.